All right, so we got what is each Space Marine Legion special power in Warhammer 40 games? Good to be Here we go, man. We got a nice intro up in here. Oh snap, that was nice. Dice Armor was pretty awesome, right? I'm actually giving it away this Sunday to one of our Dice Dire Armor members. Click oh. the link in the description or pinned comment to find out how you can be in the runnings to take it home. G'day, guys and gals. Okay. Every Space Marine Legion was unique in their own way, having their own strengths and weaknesses. The Night Lords, Raven Guard, and Alpha Legion were all stealthy. The Imperial Fist and the Iron Warriors could hold the line. The World Eaters and Iron Hands could break it, and so on. However, these weren't exactly special powers, more so battle doctrines shaped by their culture, their Primarch, and to a smaller extent, their physiology. Oh, so that, the, so basically, it, it was like their um, like tendencies, basically, or it was like their uh, like their go-to, basically. Okay. This goes much. Or like their style, Most or like their style. Legions have the potential for a small select group of their Astartes to have special powers. They were rare, but they did exist. If the right gene seed was put into the right aspirant, it could mutate and grant them abilities that made them leagues more powerful than their brothers. Not all Space Marine Legions had these special powers, but some of the greatest Space Marines to ever live were a result of these unique rare mutations, and I reckon that's worth chatting about. Okay. Today we'll go over each Legion's special power that at least one of their Legion has developed. I can't wait to talk about the Salamander's special power. At least for the legions that actually had it. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get into it! Now to clarify, I'm not talking about each legion's specialty. We all know the Night Lords are scary, not because it's their superpower, but because they're raging assholes. Likewise, we know the Imperial Fists are good at sieging, not because of some cosmic power has decreed it, it's just that they're staunch because their dad is staunch. A special Space Marine power is more supernatural and is completely unique to those Space Marines. Most Space Marines of that legion won't even have the special power. In some cases, only one will. In other cases, it'll be like a passive ability that many of them have. Now that we have that clarified, the Dark Angels do have one special power, and no, it's not been a dope ass night. Although it should be. That does Some look dark cool. Dark angels are specifically chosen and even followed around by watchers in the dark. These cosmic entities Xenos are so unknown and alien that even Chaos is scared of them. When the Changeling was rampaging through the rock and causing havoc, having a big laugh as he did so, when he eventually encountered a watcher in the dark, he was like, fuck that, and he ran the other way. The Dark Angels guided by the Watchers have destiny on their side, gain plot armor, insights, and occasionally even power. Yo, how is that fair? They got like a plus one. Okay, well, we're gonna see what the Salamanders got. This is why the Deathwing Knights, the deadliest of the Dark Angels, are often chosen by the Watchers and interact with them. But yeah, having cosmic entities watching your back is a pretty dope power. As far as I know, the Empress children don't have any particularly unique special powers beyond the ability to suck their own cocks. Likewise, the Iron Warriors don't have anything super unique in their superpower department, which makes sense since they're treated as cogs in a machine. The White Scars are interesting. Their rank and file troopers love speed and poetry and yeah, singing we know and that. shit. However, it's their librarians that are truly unique. Their librarians are not like normal Legion librarians, and not just because they're called Stormseers. They have a special, unique relationship with the Warp. So much so that when the Edict of Nike was activated and almost all psychers were banned, the Stormseers were like, Hmm, well, that obviously does not apply to us. And they just ignored it. Hey, 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 that reenactment of their voice. I'm going to be honest with you. Major kill. I'm going to have to pull you to the side. I'm going to have to pull you to the side and talk to you about that reenactment. <laughs> Similar to the room priests. But they actually have a point. When the Sue guy, the greatest of the Stormseers, was awakening his power, he was visited by both the Emperor and the Chaos Gods. As a man of balance, he accepted a drink from the Chaos Gods, but only to sip it. This annoyed both the Emperor and the Chaos Gods. The Emperor, as he wished his Sue guy didn't touch the cup, the Chaos Gods, because he didn't drink much of it. So yeah, the Stormseers are very unique, and I would class them as an entirely different type of Psyker. In a similar vein, the Wolves of Fenris also have a very unique type of Librarian. Fenris is a very, very interesting world that has a deep connection to the warp. As such, its librarians, its rune priests, are also unique. They seem to be entirely immune to corruption with their method of using the warp so raw Bro, that's not fair! that even the Thousand Suns struggle against it. They practice restraint in a similar way to the Stormseers. I consider rune priests and Stormseers as uniquely powered. No other librarian from any other legion would be able to become a Stormseer or rune priest. It's coded in their blood, their gene seed, and their very world. Every scene where a rune priest unleashes his power 
powers is always a joy to read about. Ice wolves materializing and ripping people apart is fun. Like their Iron Warrior counterparts, the Imperial Fists don't appear to have any special powers. Okay, so where's the Fact Salamanders at? did remark that out of all Space Marine test subjects, the Imperial Fists are the most difficult to control and corrupt. All right. Even when turned into monsters, they still remain loyal and will attack Fabius and other traitors. So perhaps their willpower could be considered. Oh. The Nightlords do actually have a unique, very rare special power, okay. but it seems that only one of their Marines actually ever developed it under extremely unique circumstances. That special power is extremely accurate foresight, on par with Conrad Kurz's own future telling. The Night Lord Talos developed this power, and he hated it, as it would give him seizures that would last for hours or even days. Ooh. When investigated by a talented apothecary, he discovered that Talos wasn't actually a good candidate to be a space marine. His body was not suited for the ascension. This generally would have been fine. However, his gene seed had continued to mature and mutate even after its What are salamanders at? Granting him the power of extremely accurate foresight. Once again, this would be okay. However, it put too much pressure on Talos' body, which as I said, wasn't particularly suited to be a space marine to begin with. When Talos died and his gene seed was extracted, it was put into a significantly more suitable host called Decimus, who can use the foresight whenever he wants for whatever reason he wants without any negative side effects or seizures, making him the most powerful Night Lord in the galaxy, as well as their new de facto leader. However, his plotline abruptly ended years ago without any update, so hopefully we'll see him in action soon. As far as I know, no other Night Lord developed such gifts other than maybe Sevatar. However, Sev. What Salamander is that, yo? Yo, ma yo, major kill. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you rambling on and on about these about these other irrelevant, you know, Space Marine. Like, you know, when when the Salamander's gonna get a turn? They better be in this video. Or there's going to be serious, serious uh, problems. There's going to be serious problems. Where's the Salamanders at? This man went six minutes of yapping without talking about the Salamanders. The Salamanders, they should, they should have been the first one since you started the video. After that little cinematic thing, he should have said, oh, okay, the Salamanders. You should have said the Salamanders off the bat. Bro, I'm hearing all, all like, what? Like, you mentioned the white scars and all, bro. Those guys are bums. But, bro, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Not mean to disrespect, but I promise you. Listen, I'll have a chart. As a matter of fact, listen, I'll have a tier list. And I'll put every single Legion on the tier list. I promise you. Everybody's a B and under. When I tell you that the only S, S tier Legion is the Salamanders. Get it right. And I dare anybody in the comments to disagree. The Salamanders are S tier in a league of their own. In the, ca in the category of their own. What are we talking about? They should have been the first ones to shoot... See, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm about to get, I'm about to get the twitching. Like we on Twitch that TV. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to get the twitching. I, I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to start cutting up. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm listen. I'm, yeah, you about to drive me insane. Where's the salamanders at, yo? Actively Where's the salamanders at? Powers, so who knows? The blood angels do actually have their share of powers, and most of them suck balls. First, there is the red thirst that drives them into a temporary frenzy as they desire the blood of their enemies. During the red thirst, oh, I remember them. Empowered. The next stage of this, the black rage, is a permanent state of berserk insanity in which they try to kill everything around them except for other black rage afflicted marines or the chaplains who guide them into the enemy like a wrecking ball. The blood angels also have a unique relationship with the warp via the angelic gods of. Baal. It's kind of confusing, but a TLDR is that Baal has two angelic gods, one of darkness, one of light. Their noble side is the angel of light, their red thirst and black rage side is the angel of darkness. The angels constantly battle for supremacy and have even chosen their champions. The Sanguinor is the angel of light and Mephitsen is the angel of darkness, with Dante also being involved. As such, some blood angels like Mephitsen and the Sanguinor have ascended to become demigods and a near Primarch level power. That's Demi rides. The Salamanders got that too, right? They, they got demigods too, right? Right? Pretty neat if you ask me. The Iron Hands don't appear to have any special powers beyond an unusually high physiological affinity for cybernetic modification. Likewise, the World Eaters don't have any particularly unique power. Maybe some of them could if it wasn't for the Butcher's Nails, which is known to suppress the warp within an individual, or if they are a Psyker, outright kill them. The Ultramarines also don't have anything in the unique power department as they are supposed to be the jack of all trades. Yeah. The Death Guard are an interesting one. On one hand, modern Death Guard are Plague Marines. Any special powers they have isn't theirs, it's Nurgle's. So let's look at pre-Plague Marine Death Guard. They were unusually resilient. People often said the two hardest to kill Space Marines were the Iron Hands due to their cybernetics and the Death Guard due to their resilience. When a Death Guard Marine was knocked down, it was common practice to shoot them multiple times in the head, even if they appeared dead because they were so tough. The Death Guard could consume poisons and toxins that any other Legionnaire would choke and die on. So it's clear it wasn't just an attitude thing. Who are these people? 
No, nah, that's cheating, bro. This is cheating at it, bro, at its finest, bro. This, this bro, this is blasphemy, bro. Bro, this is trickery, bro. Bro, how come they so tough? You gotta shoot them multiple times in the head and do all this just to just to end one? Oh nah, bro. Something going on, and I don't like it. Death God would literally. Be I don't like it. It's the tragic irony of that fact that drove them into Nurgle's embrace. The Legion best suited to resist Nurgle became his slaves. The Thousand Sons have a lot of superpowers, and most of them shit. For example, they used to have these cute little tutelaries, like mini warp entities that followed them around and acted like little Pokemon. However, they turn out to be malicious small demons that fucked the Thousand Sons in the ass during the fall of Prospero for a laugh. The Thousand Sons also have the Flesh Change, where if they use their power too much, they turn into Chaos Spawn. But don't worry, Ahriman cured this affliction by turning most of his legion into dusty automatons. As far as their psychic ability, they use magic? it wasn't actually that unique compared to Stormseers or Rune Priests. They just had a shitload of psychers. The Sons of Horus didn't have any particular superpower. All the powers they gained from joining Chaos wasn't their own. It was taken or borrowed from Chaos, so I'm not counting it. The Word Bearers were an interesting one. They had a unique affinity for Chaos. They and they alone... He looked like Vin Diesel demons, a little bit. ...bargain with demons and so on without it necessarily costing them their souls. Even the Gal Vorbach, who were Word Bearers merged with demons, maintained most of their free will. With even the most Chaos-saturated Word Bearers like Corferon or Erebus still not being covered in tentacles or horns. No other Legion has managed to exert this level of control over Chaos. The Salamanders are cuddly, but being cuddly isn't a superpower. What can be a superpower is extreme resistance to fire and heat. Salamanders can handle significantly higher temperatures than other space marines. Yeah! Occasionally, yeah! salamanders are even seemingly immune to fire. As such, when salamanders go to war, it's common for them to bathe the battlefield in fire and then charge in. See, that's what goats do. That's what goats do as a matter, bro. Like he said before, bro, we cuddly, we handsome. Bro, yeah, bro, yeah, baby mama will look at us. She falls in love again. That's three extra babies. I promise you. Look at this, bro. Look at this man right here, bro. Look at this fine specimen, bro. I'm a part of this, bro. Bro, we created this, bro. We created this, bro. We bathed in fire. Come on, bro. You, you, bro, bro, bro. Nobody's like us. I promise you. We, bro, we pull up to the battlefield in Lamborghinis. We drive away, bro, with the fire exhaust. Flaming! Come on, bro. Bro, we pull up to the battlefield in Lamborghinis, bro, in G wagons. What are you talking about, bro? I'm tired of the silent man of disrespect, bro. Listen, your legion can never. Your legion fell off 20 centuries ago. Go back over there. Go back over there. Your legion was your legion was existing before Christ BC. Your legion fell off. Your Primarch's dead. Your, your, your legion fell off. You can never compare to the Salamanders. You better mention my own, bro. I don't even, yo, yo, Major Kill. And I don't like how you, how you even put my team near the end. What are we? No, 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 no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Major Kill. You were saving the best for last, huh? Okay, 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 okay. You know what, bro? My urologies, my urologies. I, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I, listen, I just got a little too emotional. That's just it. You know, sometimes I gotta crash out for my team. That's what we do. You know, I'm sorry, bro. Like, bro, it felt like Sunday night football. You know, you gotta crash out for your team. You know, for your city. You know, um, Major Keel, that's my bad, bro. You know what? Self neck, self tap on the wrist. I'm, you know what, bro? My bad. You saved the best for last, bro. You saved the. You saved the best for last. You, he, and as a matter of fact, he he is completely right, bro. When we pull up to the battlefield in our, in our AMGs and our Lamborghinis and our Corvettes and our Ferraris, when we pull up to the battlefield in that and we hop out so smoothly, bro, all the girls looking at us, they're standing at us like, oh, my God, oh. They, they're just in awe, just looking at our aura, bro, how, how cute we look, how handsome we look, tall, dark, and handsome, literally, bro, and how we spray the entire battlefield in fire so nobody can breathe and how... You touch the fire, sad, like, how, how, bro, 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 everybody's burning besides us. See, that's what happens when, when you're the greatest team of all time. Bro, I promise you, bro, the, bro, the Salamanders are like the 2007 New England Patriots out here, bro. 18 and 0, undefeated, can't nobody beat us. As their enemies are reeling, they endure the flames and slaughter them. The Raven Guard actually have a dope as Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry, we got to go back real quick. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, he, you know. He, he, he went over a little too quickly.
we, we go back, you know. ...temperatures than other space marines. Occasionally, some salamanders are even seemingly immune to fire. As such, when salamanders go to war, it's common for them to bathe the battlefield in fire and then charge in. As their enemies are reeling, they endure... Yeah! ...slaughter them. The Raymond Guard actually have a dope-as-hell super... Boo! 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 Slip. A very, very small select group of Raven Guard can use the shadows to grant themselves a type of invisibility. Whoa, like get him out. Who cares? Get him out. It's a power that genetically resides in a small select group of Raven Guard who are then trained to become the more Dathan, the ultimate assassins. The Konai Sharikin, the legendary traitor hunter of the Horus Heresy, who? was famous for his wraith slipping ability, whilst other more Dathan became the boogeyman of the traitors, who? assassinating many of their commanders. They can even use it mid fight to do the old teleport behind the enemy trick. It's fucking dope. Finally, the Alpha Legion. Some who? people think that most the Alpha who? their prime up is a special <laughs> unique power, but that just isn't the case. Who? Many legions inherit physical attributes of their prime arc. It's just that the Alpha Legion takes it a step further by shaving their heads and going uh. under surgery. But that isn't a superpower. Otherwise, every woman in LA over the age of 30 would be considered a superhero. Even their ability to infiltrate and disguise themselves is based off training, who? technology, and whatnot, not due to some kind of special unique power. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, shout out to Major Kill, but who? <laughs> what are we, bro? They're going bald for the fun of it. <laughs> they're losing their hair fast for the fun of it. As a ma bro, listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. They could never. Nobody could never. <laughs> Cause who, bro? I'm gonna be honest with you. After he mentioned the Salamanders and everybody, at, bro, bro, whoever he mentioned after the Salamanders, bro, who? Call me an owl because who? <laughs> we don't know. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. And if you're a fan or, or if you're a part of one of those legions, bro, I'm sorry. You're going down just like the rest of them. Or I'm gonna be honest with you. Your team fell off. 20 centuries ago you're not you don't you do not belong here okay your team don't belong here your legion don't belong here your primarchs is dead the emperor got rid of them what are you talking about bro so i told you the salamanders were the best bro call us dj Khaled because we're literally the best what are we talking about we're, bro look at man look bro look at him bro he looks just like me Ooh. he looks just like me look look at him bro look, bro look at this look at this art bro look what he's Man, come on, bro. Bro, we pull up to the battlefield where Lamborghinis, AMGs, Mercedes, Audi, uh, RDL 8s. Bro, bro, we pull up, bro. We pull up. Bro, y'all pull up in bicycles, bro. Like, it doesn't, bro. There's no comparison, bro. We got motors on our stuff, bro. Y'all pull up with y'all legs. It, it, bro, there's no comparison, bro. Like, we really got it like that. Look at the swag he got on, bro. Bro, he got the dinosaur horns at the back of him, bro. About to turn into a Tyrannosaurus Rex, bro. Look at him. Bro, bro. Oh, my God. This is how much drip he got. He still got the receipt on his armor. Just to show you how rich he is. Look at the receipts on his armor. Look. Receipt, 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 receipt. Bro, the cashier, bro, was ringing him up, bro. Ringing him up like the ring thing at your doorbell. Come on, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I, listen, I'm tired of defending my team against people who don't know greatness. I'm sorry. If you listen, if you're not a part of the Salamanders, bro, go home. Go home. The trophy's not for you. The trophy's for us. Go home. Go home. Listen, you don't. I'm, you know what? You don't even gotta go home, but you gotta get out of here. We're the winners. This is the winner circle. What are you talking about? Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. You know, I just wanted to come here and listen to the Salamanders. You know, special power, but I did anyway. Um, again, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, and I will see you guys later. Oh, I came to the outro right. I will see you guys later. Thanks for them out. It's nice to see my Salamanders, man. See y'all.